day, Chess and everyone. Welcome to Batan Academy in National School Guidance TV, the official YouTube channel of our school, Batan Academy in National School. Once again, this is Sir Jose Prade Al Francisco Jr., your guidance counselor at Batan Academy in National School. Mental health, as defined by the World Health Organization, is a state of well-being in which the individual realizes his or her own abilities, can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and thoughtfully, and is able to make a contribution to his or her community. Why is mental health important? Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and how. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. Mental health is important to every stage of life, from childhood and adolescence through adulthood. Why is mental health important to students? There is a clear connection between mental health and academic performance. Helping students make the most of their education is everyone's goal. Students struggling with depression or mental illnesses have a harder time feeling motivated, learning, concentrating, taking tests, etc. Therefore, mental health awareness is essential to all of us. What is the importance of mental health awareness? Mental health awareness increases the chances for early intervention. This can result in a fast recovery. Awareness reduces negative adjectives that have been said to describe all people with a mental illness. By raising awareness, mental health can now be seen as an illness. These illnesses can be managed by treatment. Today, our topic regarding mental health is important. Everyone is invited to watch this video. Good luck and happy joy. The current challenges brought about by COVID-19 for people all around the globe are unparalleled and have caused fear, anxiety, and uncertainty for so many of us. We are all going through this together, and it's important to understand that you're not alone in how you're feeling right now, and that there are practical, healthy ways to cope with these emotions. The COVID-19 pandemic has created unprecedented change and a need for a response from everyone around the globe. Many of us are worried about our loved ones and our livelihoods, and there is no one right way to cope with what we're experiencing. Remember, however you're feeling, there are others that feel the same. You are not alone. Here are a few voices of people struggling to cope during this time. Some days I'm okay. I'm doing my best to adjust. But yesterday, I couldn't stop crying. This all just seems so unfair, and I feel so angry that this is happening to us. I'm struggling to care for my kids and work from home at the same time, and I'm worried about my parents' health. I watch the news and it just seems so hopeless. I don't know how to keep it together. I feel so lost and sad. So much has changed. I used to have dinner every week with my family, but now I can't be in the same room with them. I really miss them. I'm missing out on my prom and my graduation. I've literally been looking forward to these things my whole life, and I'm heartbroken. With everything going on now, I just can't stop my thoughts. And physically, my chest hurts, and I can't breathe. I get nauseous thinking about what could happen to my family and my friends. Before this happened, I used to worry all the time about getting sick. Now that worry has turned into absolute terror. My heart races every time I have to go to the store. What if I bring germs home with me? I can't stop washing my hands. No matter how exhausted I am, my sleep is still terrible. I just keep picturing all the things that could possibly happen. Will I ever get a good night's sleep again? I've been through so much already. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this too. My flashbacks are getting worse and worse. Honestly, I feel like I'm more comfortable in times of crisis. 
I'm not sure why I don't feel as upset as everyone else does right now. I don't know when or if everything is going to get back to normal. I feel like the weight of the world is on my shoulders. How many people are going to be affected? What does this mean for me and my family? We've just heard some of the ways people are being affected by the COVID-19 situation. Here are some things that are helpful in building resilience during times of crisis and intense stress. There are a lot of things outside of our control right now, which can be scary. By focusing on the things we can control, we can refuel ourselves and become more grounded and able to focus and cope with all of the things we can't control. One of the most important actions within your control is to follow CDC guidelines to reduce your chance of being exposed or passing the virus on to others. Use social support. No one should go through this alone. There is absolutely no shame in talking about what you're going through with your friends and family. And it's important to be there for others too. Video chat and phone calls are a great way to stay connected. Prioritize self-care. Staying on a regular schedule, exercising, eating a healthy diet, keeping a sleep routine, and taking time to meditate or pray are all important, now more than ever. Be gentle with yourself. During times like this, you will have good days and bad days. Your emotions are most likely heightened at this time. Try not to compare your life to what you see on your friends' social media feeds. There is always more going on behind screens. Helping others can bring joy and gratification. Do what you can to help others, even if it's something as simple as lending an ear or making someone smile. Be kind to the people around you, especially the folks who are still out working to ensure we all have what we need. If each day feels like an uphill battle, it may help to seek out professional support. To continue helping during this time of social distancing, many mental health providers are using telemental health in their practice. If you can't afford therapy or need to talk to someone right away, you can call the Suicide Prevention Lifeline 24 hours a day at 1-800-273-8255. You are not alone in how you are feeling. There are things you can do and resources you can use to cope during this challenging time. Check out our library for more videos to learn more about mental health, dealing with isolation, and ways to cope. We're all in this together. Thank you learners for watching this video. Hopefully, it raises your awareness on mental health. Our appreciation to the rightful owner of this animated video on mental health. Thank you so much for your videos in YouTube. That's all for all now. And if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, please do it now. So that you will be updated with our latest videos. Once again, this is your Sir Jose Freddy and Francisco Jr., your guidance counselor, saying thank you so much for watching this video. More videos will be coming out to help you, our dear learners. Please watch out in our YouTube channel, Batan Academy Guidance TV. Thank you so much. Stay safe, everyone. God bless us all.